Today in Tracy's Basement, we've got Vitruvian Hacks from Boss Fight Studios. I can get my fantasy on! Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, today we have the Truvian Hacks from Boss Fight Studios. These are a line. They're called Hacks because they are highly articulate character kits systems. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I looked that up last night too. Yeah. No, actually, I, I had I had heard the name of these before. Um, now, honestly, I didn't know much about them, but I had heard the name uh, because I like to keep my ear to the ground. Uh, in the toy things. industry, because I like to hear if there's cool stuff coming out. And I heard the name before, uh, but I never really looked into them, because although, you know, a big toy enthusiast, or we're in toy enthusiasts, we have a habit of mostly focusing on pop culture. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. It, it's more of our fandoms and that kind of thing. But we do occasionally get toys that aren't pop culture related. Yes. And when I was looking into these... Uh, they had series one was Greek with mythology, which, which I am cool. a big fan of. Uh, the series two was fantasy, and uh, Derek, our buddy Derek, again mentioning Derek. We're always mentioning Derek. That's because we talk to him too much. The guy never stops talking. It's he true. literally just. <laughs> um, he said they would look amazing with Tracy's dragons or McFarlane and I dragons. I really think that. I've been excited yeah. ever since I saw them because, yeah, they will look amazing with my dragons. So when Boss Fight Studio messaged and asked if we wanted to take a look at these, I said yes, of course, because I was super excited about them. They are fantasy, love fantasy. These are really, really cool. So we are going to take a look at four of these series, two fantasy line. There are eight in total. And thank you again to Boss Fight Studios for sending these our way to take a look at because very, very exciting, awesome figures. I got both the females. You've got the females, <laughs> I've got the males. <laughs> cool. There's four female characters and four male characters. Cool. All of them are very awesome. And the first thing I will mention before we open them up, just like the Bucky O'Hare figures that we reviewed. Which was so cool. Which this was super, extremely super cool. cool. These also have that awesome, super cool packaging that is excellent for in-box and out-of-box collectors it's, because it comes yeah. apart It's super collector easy. friendly package. I knew you were struggling to think of the word collector there. Friendly. I was That's watching you struggle. <laughs> I was just sitting here watching you struggle looking for the word. It's got collector yeah, collector friendly card backs which is just <laughs> Blows my mind. It's amazing to me because usually, this is amazing. yeah, clamshells. You gotta pretty much wreck the packaging or at least cut it open so that it's not like sealed or anything, uh, possibly ruining the card to you know get the figure out. So there's no chance of display displaying it in box exactly. again. So These they look are like cool. <laughs> really beautiful artwork and everything. It looks like the clamshell packaging. So if you yeah. want to, you can hang it on the wall or what have yeah. you. But the card comes right out the back. It just has these little slots, so you can just pull it apart. Keep it if you want it for later, and everything comes out of box, easy as pie. Love, love, love the packaging. And super. I'm going to flash. be honest here. I gotta say, I'm almost. You know me. I am such. That's why I love the fact that these are collectors friendly. I'm such an out of box collector. I hate in box collections. They're boring. They're ugly. I mean, if that's how you want to collect them, do it. Like I said, uh, collect how you want, right? But I hate the look of in box collections. But the card art on these figures is freaking amazing. Like, that it is really not is. your standard card art. Like, that's not, like, you know, regular uh, Walmart toy card art or, like, the side of a Funko box. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, this, this is, is some. This is some good, good card art here. It's beautiful so. front and back and character bios on the back if you're interested in that kind of thing, too. Yeah. Just, they do an excellent job right, right. from the packaging. All right, so I'm going to open the Orc Conqueror. Okay, okay, I'm going to start with Felonius, the Wandering Mage. It just slides out like that, isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> so these are all from the basics line, which are the figure plus some little accessories, extra heads and hands and that kind of thing. But they also have the character building kits that you can get that are all these extra bits and weapons and bits of armor and that kind yeah. of thing, so you can customize these characters to yeah. your liking. And that's why they call them the highly articulated character kit systems 
packs because they are highly customizable with different parts you can get and purchase uh, and everything like that. So it's very cool. You can kind of build your own fantasy characters and, and scene stuff, which is really neat for someone like me who does things like gets absolutely lost for months and months and months in things like Skyrim <laughs> and yes, things like true. that. Uh, yeah, I've. I spent quite a bit of time in Fantasy World. Strangely enough, never a WoW fan, though. No, never me a WoW fan. But Skyrim, I lost a lot, a lot of life to Skyrim. <laughs> but, uh... So they kind of come as little standardized characters. You have Felonius, the wandering mage, but then again, you can customize them to your liking. So Felonius is kind of in the green mage robes, and he's got like the big scarf the wrappings around his arm. There's a lot of uh, little details, like he's got scrolls on his belt, all that kind of thing. They're about, how, how big would you say uh, that They're is? about the 3.75 inch scale. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. But for the size of them, lots of little details. He's got nice wavy hair. I love his beautiful he hair. He looks like a mage. He looks he looks like a handsome mage. A handsome <laughs> mage. A handsome mage at that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And he has the fabric material for his outfit, so that's nice. And there's lots of little extras. So he has the hood that you can kind of just squeeze on over his head there. And now he's kind of more looking like robed, you know, the robed mage. And he has his magic spell book. He's got weapons. He's got the, ooh, I like the uh, staff. It's got a dragon on it around the crystal ball kind That's of a thing nice there. Looking. He's got a little knife as well. And he's got lots of little things. He's got little bottles of potions. He's got a rat <laughs> for some reason. Gotta have a rat. <laughs> Rats are pretty prominent in medieval fantasy times. True, so. fair enough. He also has a closed book in case you wanted to hold it that way. He has a little fireball, so if you want him to be shooting some magic. And in this extra little bag here, we have some hands, and they each come with one of these little stands. I really gotta level this table. It's balancing on textbooks, just so you know. <laughs> so it's very professional here. Yeah, we so. need it a little <laughs> higher, so it's balancing yeah. on textbooks. <laughs> but they each come with one of these little stands that do say Boss Fight Studio on them. Oh, cool. So you do have that little extra, you know, if you're like us and you have a table that refuses to be level, there, he stands up. <laughs> well, that would have been handy, me here trying to stand him up, and I didn't see the uh, stand there, so th thanks for the heads up. You're thanks welcome. for the heads up, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, I have the, what is it, Orc Destroyer, Orc Conqueror, orc I believe it is. Conqueror. Female Orc Strategist, and I was just reading the back of this, and it says uh, female orcs are very rare. Only like one in five orcs are born female in this fantasy world. Uh, and they are less physically strong than males, but are much smarter and often will com be the commander of the war party. I so, like these. That's I pretty like cool. These a there's actually there's a whole bunch of uh, cool stuff to read yeah, there, on the back of the things. Yeah, there's huge, so. long character Very, files. very cool. Very, very nice. Now, she is, of course, green-skinned and everything. She's the Orc Conqueror. Uh, they're very, like I said, uh, highly articulated on the thing. They're not lying. For 3.75-inch figures, I've been over here playing with them. Yeah. They are extremely articulated. They got twists and bends and hinges everywhere. Uh, waist, legs, like multiple feet, like... You can bend them in many, many different ways to get some poses for these, uh, this size of figure. Yeah, it's, it's very actually, surprising how many yeah, points of articulation they have. It's actually, it's quite surprising, Peak actually. And everything. It's great. Now, she has got some great detail on her. She's got this golden armor that's kind of covering, you know, random parts of her skin. Uh, she is bikini just... Bikini armor. Yeah, well, the classic bikini armor, of course, fantasy worlds. But, I mean, she's an orc. Orcs don't really cover themselves a lot in battle I find in most That's a good point. in most fantasy settings. I mean I'm sure there are some. I mean it's fantasy, you can do whatever you want, right? But and I'm sure there's probably armor kits you can get for her since that you can buy extra yes. kits and stuff too. But what's really cool, even though she has an alternate head with her regular face on it, I like this one. This is a basically she's got the front of a skull as like a helmet for yeah, her face. I really like, like that. That she is looks extremely bad cool. ass with that skull on her yeah, face. <laughs> and it's got like a crack, uh, like a little crack up in the corner too. It's very, very cool looking, especially with her red uh, pupiled eyes coming out underneath. I really, really dig that. These are gonna look fantastic with your uh, with your dragons. They really are. And I yeah. love her armor as well. Yeah. It looks very medieval and 
frightening. Very, like, oh, you, you would not want to see her coming at you. It definitely looks. <laughs> it definitely looks right out of a fantasy setting. She's got, of course, a giant club because you know orcs love their blunt instruments. I'm gonna try to get this in the hand right now because I'll be farting around with it. But of course, we're gonna have the overlays with all the pictures. She comes with a knife, of course, or some kind of dagger. It looks a little bit bigger than a dagger, though, so I'd probably go with some sort of knife. And, of course, a big buckler shield. I so, love the shield, too. It looks yeah. like the wood with the, the, all the it, rivets in it. It looks like every shield you start out with in a fantasy yeah. video <laughs> exactly. game. It's like, oh, look, I just found the buckler. Here's my first shield. Oh, it does nothing. Like, literally, just, oh, it prevents, like what five percent of dan that this is <laughs> getting nerdy this is getting nerdy it's getting nerdy i love nerdy stuff so i plus, love plus one to defense i love my rpg stats <laughs> so yeah i uh i'm totally digging this figure so that's really cool i'm having fun playing with felonius over here as well <laughs> but we have two more so i have the knight of asperity who is a chaos agent very very cool he looks Undead, which is awesome to me. I love anything creepy and like undead and weird creatures like that. Whoops! Having trouble getting the uh, spitting it out, are you? He fell out of <laughs> He fell out on me. So he is like a scold creature. He's obviously some kinda, you know, zombie or some kind of thing. But he's all in knight's armor, so he's all shiny. And he's got lots of detail in, like, the arms and the legs and the uh, belts and boots and little bits of armor. He's got some kind of a belt hanging out there that I imagine a weapon goes into. The big thing about him is the skull. I love the skull. But he also comes with all these, like, little facial armor parts. So he has this awesome helmet that looks like a demon. But then he also has... The little face shield that's yeah. kind of like the oh. more uh, common, you know, this guy's riding into battle cool. kind this of This guy's freaking cool, man. I don't, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm cutting you off here. <laughs> it's going through the parts because this guy's freaking cool, man. I got it. I just got to talk that I just seen this guy out of the package now. This guy's freaking cool. He looks like uh, almost like a medieval ghost rider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know how much I love. Um, with you guys been following a while and you know how much big Halloween nerds and stuff like that. And you know how much I love skeletons. You've seen how many skeletons I had in my <laughs> Halloween display. Uh, yeah, I always dig skeletons. I'm always uh, down for undead knights and stuff like that. And this guy is freaking cool looking. Wow. He's really awesome. And he has a lot of really cool accessories too. Wow, he, has... he comes with a ton. He has Whoa. this wicked red shield with like a horned, like a goat demon kind of thing on the bottom of it there. He has a sword and scabbard. He has all the helmets, like I mentioned before. He has these, I think these are um, shoulder blades, but they're like big spikes. That's really cool. He has this giant ax that looks like the blades are like wings kind of thing. He has his stand, of course. He has extra arm, uh, hands and all that kind of thing. He does have a head that's an actual like human head with some kind of red face paint all over him. And I mean, that's cool that he comes with that, but I'm not replacing the skull. <laughs> no, you gotta have the skull. The skull no is No human amazing. head, no. You gotta have that skull, that's fantastic. But I mean, that's, I guess if you're like, you know, doing a scene or yeah. something like you, that. I'm sure it would and, come in uh, handy for some people. Uh, and that's the thing, you could have multiple of these guys and it probably looks pretty cool. It's like well, a little yeah, undead cool army too. or something like that. I but, might just have him like, the red paint almost looks like blood, so I might just have him like hold the skull. Like you're sick <laughs> you're sick you're sick and twisted i had so much i forgot about opening the stand for the uh orc i, I stood oh, yeah, her up gotta have a little stand. i stood her up normally anyway uh but she was actually pretty easy but i forgot about it. i couldn't find the bag it was uh down the bottom <laughs> but uh something to yeah. mention too about the stands just uh i had at the top of my head they're nice and small i, I, had, I like that they don't take up a huge i amount had of trouble opening the plastic bag <laughs> i couldn't get it there was tape and and I had problems. I can't get her feet J Jason's in the. Uh, good at tape. I can't get her feet in the stand. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing Probably. it backwards? Probably. I get. I can't get. I can't get pegs in holes. It's just not something I can do. It's very difficult for me. It's okay, guys. I got the pegs in the holes for them. I had trouble. It's okay. It was difficult. Okay, <laughs> I got this bag open anyway. I did good on that. Uh, but yeah, the super cool, nice. Uh, I, with her extra parts open here, I'm going to do Narissa. 
and uh, she is leader of the Withered Branch. She looks like a dark elf. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty basically. sure that's what she's meant they're, to be. They're basically going with the, the dark elf look here with the um, kind of grayish skin and the white hair. I really, really like that look. Yeah. I can't believe I know all this <laughs> this dark elf stuff. But, uh, you know, I had a friend uh, in high school who was really, really, really into Dungeons & Dragons. I never got into it. It was just not something I could get into. But there's one person I always remembered from Dungeons and & Dragons, and that was Driz du Erdan. I wonder if I just gained any geek points, geek creds, uh, There's yeah, gotta be at some least people. one person watching that's, that's like, like yeah! oh, He said Driz du Erdan! <laughs> I was like, uh, honestly, that's the only thing I know about Dungeons & Dragons, uh, is that Driz du Erdan, because he was a dark elf, and he looked really, really cool. <laughs> so I went with him. Now I'm trying to get her in her stand right off the bat this time so I can just plop her down on the table when I'm ready. <laughs> can you get talk. the pegs and holes this time? I got one in. The, the second one is just, it's, they're so articulate that it's actually uh, kind of difficult to... Yeah, the ankles get, move on yeah. you as you're trying to like get them. Like they're <laughs> literally, they're so poseable that it's hard to get them to stand still sometimes. Well, at least, actually I can get them to stand still fine on the table better than I can get them in the actual stand. But uh, there, I got her in there. I just gotta adjust her a bit now because I got her all wonky trying to get her feet in there. But I uh, love the look of her. Elves are really cool anyway, but I love that look of the dark-skinned elf with the white hair and everything. And she's got that little bit of like a cyan color to pop everything out. Yeah. She has a really, really neat look to her. Yeah, she definitely looks like some kind of maybe water-related or... Some kind of, like, I'd say green is the usual color they go with because, you know, they usually associate elves with, like, forest areas yeah. and things like that. But she's, what it said, uh, was it Withered Branch? Leader of the Withered Branch. So, I don't know, it, it kind, she kind of has a bit of, like, a, a death, like, a natured death type look yeah so actually withered branch yeah that yeah. that seems almost like a, a death of nature kind of a thing. yeah so it's definitely really really cool looking she's got extremely dark armor of course she's obviously someone who like attacks from the shadows yes. or, or something <laughs> like that plus plus 10 to stealth I would use this character. I love stealth <laughs> missions. I, I a lot of people the whole hate them. Game yeah. thought out in his I do. I, I built a whole video game world around these four characters already because these are are actually like extremely extremely cool figures. Um, she comes with an alternate head that has blue hair. Of all things, yeah, that's a bit. Uh, uh, I like that one too, but there's. I prefer the white, about hair. the white. The white. Just the white hair. Yeah. Yeah. The white hair clashes better with the the darker, like grayish skin. Yeah, I exactly. would say. Um, she's got a crossbow, so that's really cool, and it does come with three loose arrows. So I'm going to be careful when I set that up because I might lose those. A quiver, of course, and two daggers because what elf doesn't have a set of daggers? It's always going to be daggers. Daggers. Every Something elf about has elves daggers. And daggers. <laughs> I am possibly going to pose her with her daggers because she's got already got this cool like holding out her daggers pose going on right now. So that's going to take a quick pop in here with these daggers. I got one in. I'm doing all right. I'm actually <laughs> so. having a blast playing with these. <laughs> there are yeah. There is a lot you can do with these. I said as a, as a toy enthusiast too, and not just like a single pop culture collector. Uh, these are extremely, extremely cool figures. Um, I am genuinely surprised uh, at how much I am enjoying these. <laughs> like, I know it's funny too. They, like I said before, these are called the basics line. The the idea being, you get these first, and this is the basic figure. Yeah, this but is they, your basic kit. But they come with a ton of stuff. And they are extremely articulate. Like, there's nothing basic about them. But they're absolutely awesome. Yeah. And then in addition you can get the extra kits with all the extra parts and everything. So this is really, really cool. I like these a lot. I'm playing with all the different parts here. There's gonna be, I'm going to put so many cool poses uh, up in the overlays oh, that yeah. you guys have probably <laughs> seen a million of already <laughs> as I'm filming this because I haven't done them yet. But I had a little trouble getting her quiver in, so I'll focus on that after I, we get the video done. <laughs> but I've got all the extra armor on. Holy my... jeez! <laughs> he looks like just death coming at you! Whoa! <laughs> I love it. I was Whoa, you were really playing over there. I'm trying to get him to hold the, the dude's head. No, <laughs> oh, just forget about the head. Look at this battle axe. I know, the axe Holy, is cool, Holy, look at this. <laughs> you don't mess with this. I'm going to have to, uh, 
I think this might have to go in a different hand. It might. He does have the extra holding hands, so... Oh no, I, I can get it in here. Play a bit. I can get it in here. His fingers fold out a little bit. I thought they were a little tight, but look at this! That is freaking holy! Isn't that he is, awesome? That's insane. I love it. I'm having a blast with uh, Flonius as well, getting him set up with his books and everything. And oh, he man. has a spell hand that I gotta get on him soon. <laughs> holy. That guy's wicked. Oh, well, man. I gotta say, overall, I am very impressed with these little figures. They yeah. are very, very cool looking. Tons of fun you can have with them. Very articulate. Thank you again to Boss Fight Studios for sending them our way to show to you guys because these are great and they really definitely are going to look awesome with my dragon. They are. I, uh, <laughs> I gotta have this guy fighting a dragon. I'm going to have to look into the Greek mythology ones too because I'm a, a big, you know, I, I like Greek mythology. I've always been a fan of Greek mythology, uh, you know, Medusa and Hercules and all that stuff. So. Those ones look awesome as well. There is a Medusa yeah. in that line so. and there's a Series 3 coming out, so... Keep your eyes out for yeah. those. I think they might be on pre-order now. Yeah, so I think there's... Out. Yeah, the second wave of these, I don't know if they're out yet. So the, the I think that's wave, what's coming yeah, out. This is the second wave. You can't order it. There is a third wave coming. I mean second wave of Series 2. Oh, yes. Kind of. Sorry. We're all... We're not in sync <laughs> at all. She's not following me. Wave She's not series, getting me. There's too many She's ways. not getting me here. Anyway, <laughs> these are four of the Series 2 figures that we showed today. Of these four, which one is your favorite? Oh, it's this badass knight. Look at that guy. I think they're all really cool. Uh, and I do... When I'm playing games, I honestly don't choose warriors very much. I usually choose uh, like, like stealth, stealth assassins, like thieves. Or then I'll usually do a second run as a mage if it's not a too, too big game. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Making fun of me. I like to be a thief. <laughs> I like to steal cheese wheels <laughs> in, in Skyrim. I don't, I just like to steal cheese wheels. Just They're not really worth that much. I just, I don't want people to have cheese. So it's my cheese. I take all the cheese. Everybody who plays Skyrim knows exactly what I'm talking about. You've yeah, got a probably. you've got a, a <laughs> giant supply of cheese wheels you don't need. <gasps> I shook the table too much because it's on one level. But my favorite is definitely this badass uh, undead knight dude with the skeleton head. I almost he looks really cool with the helmet on, but I almost just want to show off his skull too. Yeah, his skull. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the undead knight because I love skeletons and and undead stuff. So. I love all of them too. I think the orc lady is very, very, very sexy and cool looking and interesting. But I gotta go with the knight too. The, knight, the knight's just too wicked. He's he just has, too badass. He is. He has <laughs> awesome armor. He's got a freaking skull. He's got coolest weapons. So, he's got yeah. spikes all over him. His, his accessories are large. Like, I, although this dragon staff's pretty cool too for the that mage. Is but, cool too. like, oh man, that is the possibilities with this guy with all these big weapons and stuff like that too that, that he's gonna take some wicked pictures exactly <laughs> they <laughs> can't wait to play yeah <laughs> these are gonna look awesome on the shelf with the dragons i'll have to get some kind of picture going with that or something you can take a picture for instagram or something wow. like that he but, might get to ride a dragon yeah you'll have a hard time with those mcfarlane <laughs> dragons those mcfarlane dragons aren't the easiest figures to work with no that's they true. take them out of the package and it's like they don't stand up well at all they got tails going under the feet of the dragons they're very they're very early adult collector toys yes. <laughs> so but anyway <laughs> these were some of the series two of the vitruvian hacks basics kits if you are interested in these we will leave a link in the description box below you should definitely Chaw. check them out <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> thank you again to boss Fight studios for sending them our way if you are interested in them if you have enjoyed looking at them, let us know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I expect to see a lot of this guy. Yeah, well, <laughs> honestly, they're all pretty badass, but check this out. Oh, pew, pew. I'm going to shoot fireball. Pew. Oh, my shield blocks magic. <laughs> oh, his orb. Ah, now you have no defense. <laughs> Guys, I am such a child. <laughs> Let us know how much of a nerd Jason is in the comment section below. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Jason from TV on Twitter. Stealth attack. <laughs> and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye. Woo.